All right, guys, we're back with some more Metroid Prime Remastered, and we are going to continue on. We got the Space Jump Boots, we got the Boost Ball, and we are in the uh, Research Lab Hydra, learning about a lot of stuff with the, pace, uh, the Space Pirates. And we got the Wave Beam. So that being said, we, I don't know where to go exactly, but I'm just going to, I haven't played this game in, like, I gotta say, it's a 20-year-old game, a 21-year-old game. I'm still loving what they did. The controls are on point. They match good with the Switch controls. They're, like, up to date. But I like what they did with the art. The They didn't make it... They made it... They kept it realistic looking, but they... With the touch of more color and more realisticness with, like, the ice, the water, um... In the lighting, the only thing that's different with the lighting is like if you shoot your beam down the down like a dark tunnel, it won't light up the light. But the fact that you can see Samus's face when you like shoot the wall, and you can see her eyes, I thought that was like an awesome touch they added to this game. But I'm kind of giving my review already of the game. I mean, we're not even like halfway through it yet. That being all right, so we are uh, at the observatory. You gotta make our way this way. Okay, so we instead of going down, we gotta go this way. So we actually last episode we we uncovered this galaxy. We saw Zeb, Ze, planet Zebs, Zebs. I call it Zebs. And then we got SR388, which I think took place in Metroid Fusion. And Zebs takes place in Super Metroid. And then we are obviously on Talon 4 right now. So let's switch the wave beam, obviously. I think this is going to be a lot of reading in this uh, video, guys. So just bear with me. Let me see, let me see something here. I just want to make sure that I actually have that last video saved. Video. Hydro Lab. I think this is it right here. Yeah, this is okay. Great. Okay. So we're going to actually have to upload that on my channel, which I did not even do yet. That's all right. We'll do that now. It takes two seconds. Just hold on one more minute. We're just going to do this. I'm really hoping that they get, we get the new Metroids for this. Um, Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3. Alright, let's go. I don't want to wait too much ammunition because I thought I would get my missiles replenished. See how you can see your eyes, but I guess not. I think some save rooms only. I think some save rooms only like show, only save your uh, missiles and your health. Like some don't save your missiles, restore your missiles. I'm saying every save room restores your health, but I feel like some of them don't restore your missiles.
lot of them. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap, dude. That, like, really messed me up. You know what I'm about to do? Just freaking save again, because I'm afraid that if I go too far, I'm not going to be able to save. And I'm going to have, like, low health. Unless I get health back from over here, but... Yeah, we're not going to get any health over here. Then I'm just going to save, because I am not risking going far. And then having to freaking restart all this over again, just because... Spot. Yeah, we're definitely going to save. Again. Oh, great. Is that door unlocked? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I would fight them, but I'm not going to sit here and waste my time. Oh my gosh, we, no, we got We got to actually fight them again. I forgot we were supposed to scan that. Oops. Okay. I gotta say, man, I, I completely oh, forgot about this place. But I really love the, the fact that we're like in a space pirate facility researching all the crazy nonsense they just done over here. They're like trying to like experiment. It looks like they're trying to experience, experiment with like phase on. Trying to like mutate things. Is that a Metroid? Stasis tank B18 contaminated be unacceptable. Safety standards. What the? What is that? It's a Metroid. Like, yeah, I know you. Samus is like, 
I've had enough of you guys. Recording to logbook. Talon Metroid, huh? The effects of the Phazon have turned these Metroids, a species of Alpha Predator native to SR388, into a unique subspecies found only on Talon 4. A Talon Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake it and attach Talon Metroid is to enter Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. So basically, if you're not... Oh, whoa! Oh yeah, I remember this Construction of Geoform 187, codenamed Bridley, was Ridley was recently completed after his defeat on Planet Zebes. Zebes command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a psycho. The metaphor metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will be <laughs> become the mainstay of our security for the job we will certainly relish. So these assholes, I guess, apparently. I thought Ridley was a uh, like one of the leaders of the space pirates. I think he, he was. I thought Meta, Meta Ridley, or Meta Ridley, and uh, Ridley were different. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just Ridley, but we're more machine-like now. A lot of stuff to scan. I mean, I warned you guys to be a lot of reading, so if you don't mind. Let's just, I feel like the red the red stuff is important to read. Everything else is kind of sexual. Initial transfer of Metroid to Talon 4 research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase on infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of phase on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase on sources. Early research suggests that considerable growth in power and size. Whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. So they don't even real. They're these idiots are just testing stuff without like. They're not respecting the fact that it would be dangerous. They're just putting it into a like, just greedy with power. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait, we went this we came this way, I think. Yeah, what are, oh, I keep thinking that we were we came from that way. Wait.
Confidence is high regarding Faison and applications. We know enough about Faison and how to begin comic combining it with space pirate DNA. So now they're going to try to freaking put it with themselves. The codename for this adventure will be Project Helix. Primary release studies that indicate the Faison infusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Be benevolent mutation levels are high, and current test subjects based on madness is a concern. But we find that the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. In the event of a measured attack, repel creatures with missiles to set to maximum concussion. Ice containment gear when transporting metroids. Huh. Yeah, these metroids are no joke. Yeah, they love sucking energy, which is crazy. It's crazy because I heard, I read this thing where they suck the energy out of people, but they don't lose blood. So what the hell are they sucking out of you? They must be sucking out of your soul or something. Well, that's my soul. Man. Metroid? What the hell? Looks like it's like a failed experiment. Looks pretty screwed up to me. Metroid dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from invasive twin man mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadrus partite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains another mystery. The victim does not. Oh, what the hell? It just says it right there. I literally, I literally was just talking about this. Okay, the prey remains another mystery. The victim does not blues blood or any other vital fluids and yet the metroid extracts energy identifying this energy is our central problem it takes no physical form and yet without it the victim dies we will continue to research this matter as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our at ascendance so these they want to ascend into greater uh, aliens and beings with using phazon and metroids and their lust for power is insane so, I'm guessing... Blah, 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 blah. So Project Titan suspended. Massive casualties. So it looks like their investigation's kind of backfired. What does this say over here? Anything else? Oh, come on. Studies. Okay, so log 11, 556. 550, that must be the year. Studies have Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress, it seems likely that we will be much more successful using Metroids for our means rather than 
trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need for a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies. And once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they'd consume, we would have nearly limitless source of power at our disposal. Woo-ha-ha! So this took place, when did this, uh, the year 550, this took place, the year 420. So 100 years, more than 100 years later, they, they're discovering more answers. And we're not, well, not, no, they're discovering more, they're trying to come up with new uh, techniques. But they're not really getting that far. It's, okay. A wee pirate that was on Okay, so this is a pirate that the truck transforming into a Metroid, or... Metroid transforming into a pirate or whatever, they tried it and failed. Is that all that's energy tank? Can I have it? Jesus tank. Jesus tank. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if we can shoot these tanks open. Dude, they sound just like the ones from Super Metroid. Yeah, I literally would have walked right by that, not realizing that. And I just that up. Alright, let's continue on, because this is a lot of scanning. I wonder if I can pull this up. No, I can't. I was thinking that I was like, okay, let me try three pistols. a new creature? Ice Beetle. Huh. Okay. Central tank control circuit connection terminated. What is that? Is 
testing of the thermal imaging software complete. Commence download detective advisor. Prototype for field test. Oh, it's a thermal visor. Sweet.
Join? Oh, great. Okay, some sentry drones. actually getting kind of hard.
doing that? Stop the damn war ball, bro. So close to dying. If I die, I'm screwed. I have to do all this over again. There's no way. Dude, give me some freaking health, man. Not missiles. Saving goodbye. <clears throat> wow, that was <laughs> that was intense. I was I'm gonna have uh, end this episode here, guys. So I hope we'll be back with more tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy the night.